I really want to change my life, but I don't know what to do. I'm afraid if I do this, it's not going to work. I'm afraid if I go here, they're going to reject me. I'm afraid if I try to mingle and get to know people, they're not going to like me. I'm afraid if I step out in faith and do something different, it's not going to work out. Does fear stop you from living the kind of life you know you want to live? Does fear stop you and make you miss out on opportunities all because you're afraid of what might happen? But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Do you allow fear to cause you to miss out on opportunities? Do you allow fear to make you miss out on people and things that you want in your life? For many years, I dealt with anxiety and fear. I was always worrying about what would happen if, what's going to happen if this, what if I try this? I was afraid of taking risk. And as women, as you continue to grow and become more confident and you really think about the kind of life you want to live, you really can give no place to fear. Fear manifests itself in many ways and manifests itself in the form of anxiety and the form of depression and the form of social anxiety. Many women deal with social anxiety because they are uncomfortable within themselves and they're not quite sure of how people are going to receive them. And because of that, they feel awkward when they get around other people. They tend to shrink back and not really want to be seen or heard. They just want to blend into the background. But you see, the issue with that is if that you take on that kind of mindset, you will never prosper and do well in your life and you'll miss out on many valuable opportunities because instead of trying to be where you need to be to get the information, you're trying to just overhear things instead of being out in the front. That's the way I used to be. I really wasn't socially awkward. However, I wasn't the person that really wanted to be amongst the crowd. And to an extent, I'm still not that kind of person. However, if I have to get in front of people in order to get valuable information that's going to help me to move forward in my life, I will do that. You see, you have to ask yourself if what you want in life is worth you stepping out of your comfort zone. And for many women, Fear comes down to not wanting to come out of their comfort zone. While I speak about being comfortable and keeping your life simple, a simple life does not equate to never taking risk in life. When you take risk in life, you actually set yourself up to be more comfortable in the future. When you step out and say, you know what, I'm not comfortable per se with this type of role. Let's say you're in the career field, you're in corporate, and you want to have a more soft lifestyle, you wanna have a lifestyle where you don't have to worry about money, and you know taking that position, even though it's not something that on paper you might be qualified for, but if people see your potential and they're telling you you can do it, and in essence, you've already been doing that role, if you want to have the type of lifestyle that affords you the type of money where you can be comfortable, you will take on that position and do it confidently. You will step outside of your comfort zone in order to obtain the type of lifestyle that you want to live. But imagine if you just say, no, I don't want to do that because no, I just don't like it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And continue to struggle financially. That is hurting you in the future. So the point being is that a little discomfort in the moment will help you to be comfortable down the line. And if you live in fear, you can't operate that way. You always see things as being a roadblock to your potential opposed to an opportunity for growth. But as women, as we continue to become more confident, that fear will have to go away because when you operate in fear, it also, number two, shows lack of self-confidence and lack of self-esteem. When a woman does not have self-esteem, she is always fearful and mainly when it comes to how other people view her. Your fear of how other people view you, a lot of times for women, I believe that's the number one thing that holds us back, our fear of how other people view us. When you are authentic to who you are as a woman, 
the people who are meant for you will be around you and they will receive you. I had to learn that as I got into my later 20s and my early 30s, I began to realize that just being myself was good enough. I didn't have to try to fit this cookie cutter mold of what I think I should be opposed to who I really am as a woman. When I leaned more into my femininity and truly just embraced my womanhood, and then I started to operate out of my true personality, my true character, I started speaking up a little bit more, but even though I was soft-spoken, I wasn't afraid to allow my voice to be heard. I let people know what I wanted. I started showing my gifts and my skills and my talents, and people valued that. You'd be surprised at how many people are just waiting for you to come out of your comfort zone and work in your gifting and your talent and your skills in order to help them and encourage them. Many of you have so many gifts and talents and skills, but you sit on them because you're afraid of how people are going to see you. And you have that whole, it's just me mentality where you see yourself as small. And a lot of times that comes from the programming that you might've been taught as a child. A lot of times fear was instilled into us and low self-esteem was instilled in us as children. Many women grew up feeling like they always had to wait for the other shoe to drop or things were just too good to be true. If something was going too good in their lives, then that means that something bad is ultimately coming. And you don't want to have that type of mindset because when you think like that, you're never able to enjoy the moment because you're always worrying about what's going to happen next. How long is this feeling going to last? How long is this opportunity going to be here? But when you become more confident and operate in faith and not fear, you will realize that good opportunities are meant for you, especially if you are a woman who is doing the things she knows to do. She's being authentic to who she is as a woman. You will see that good opportunities and good people are meant for you. You are not meant to always struggle and be fearful and be worried about what other people think. No matter what you do, whether it be good or bad, people will talk about you. Why not let people talk about you for doing something good opposed to being known as someone who, you know what, she's not going to do it because she never wants to do this because she's so afraid of everything. When you constantly operate in fear, you give other people control over your life. And see, that was the wake up call for me because I got so tired of living a life. I can't say I was unhappy, but I didn't really feel fulfilled in my life. Even though I have a family, even though on paper or to people on the outside looking in, it appears that I might have had it all together. I'm doing my best as a mother. You know, my children are well behaved for the most part. You know, marriage is great, all those kind of things. But I was not fulfilled because I wasn't truly doing the things that I wanted to do in my heart. See, I had a lot of gifts and skills and talents, one of which that I'm operating in now but I would sit on that out of fear of what people would think of me. The old me would never get on camera and allow people to hear my voice as much as you hear it now. And that's because when I was younger, I was always shh, shh, shh. I was always quieted. I was always told that you have to be seen and not heard. And even if they didn't say those words, the responses I got when I spoke up caused me to always shrink back. And I always had that apprehension about letting my voice be heard. But as I began to grow and understand that I'm just as valuable as anybody else and that I don't have to be fearful of what anyone else thinks or says about me, they can do nothing to me. That's when I began to explode in how I really live my life and the kind of things that I started doing. I wasn't afraid to take the lead in my own life. I wasn't afraid to say, you know what, I'm not happy with how my life is going, so I'm going to take the necessary steps to change it. See, it doesn't take all day to change your life. It takes, number one, deciding that I'm not happy with how my life is going and I want to change it. And then number two, decide the type of life that you want to live. Do you want to live a life where your life is not completely consumed by work all day, every day? 
Do you not want to be the type of woman who works 45, 50, 60 hours a week? You can change that. You can change that by sitting down and thinking about what you're good at and then working on building that skill and that talent that you already naturally have. Even if it's something that's outside of the box, it doesn't have to make sense to everyone else as long as it makes sense to you. And as long as it allows you to have the kind of life that you ultimately want to live, you have to really focus in and zone in on that thing, tune out everybody else. That's number three, learn how to block out the voices of distraction. When you are trying to get out of fearful mindsets, fearful mentality, survival mode mentality, you will have to block out all of the voices that told you that the only way you can be successful is to be stressed. The only way you can have a good life is to do what everybody else wants you to do. When you block out the voices that have told you who to be and really think about who you want to be, that's when your life will change. So sit down and think about the things that you are good at and think about the kind of life you want to live. For me, I want my lifestyle to revolve around my business and the things that I do. I don't want my entire life to be consumed by business and the things that I do. I want my gifts and my skills not only to bless other people, but to bless myself. I want to be able to have my time to enjoy with my family and my friends and to other things that will allow me to take care of my mental and my physical well-being. So when it comes to the type of lifestyle you want, putting away fear allows you to really think about how you want to live and not feel guilty for it. And then also when you put away fear, you're allowing yourself to be less stressed and you're taking care of your mental health. As women, we are highly affected by mental health issues, be it anxiety, depression, or any other type of mental health issues. Many women are affected by those things and the root cause is because of fear, once again, of what might happen. What you have to understand is that you don't have control over the future, but you only have one life to live. And if you spend your entire life worrying about what will happen if you even try, you will live a life full of regrets. And at the end of your life, you will only have stories about what you wanted to do, what you wish you would have done, but you didn't do it out of fear that people might think this about you, you're afraid that you're gonna fail, and you didn't think you were good enough to even try. And as leveled up, confident, feminine women, we do not want to live life with regrets. It is better that you try and fail than to have never tried. And if you continue to be consistent in whatever it is that you want to do in life and the kind of life you want to live, you will eventually succeed in that thing. But you have to try first. You have to get a little bit uncomfortable in order to be comfortable in the future. So what are some simple things you can do to get comfortable and get out of your comfort zone get comfortably out of your comfort zone yes get comfortably out of your comfort zone and defeat fear in your life start doing things that you wouldn't have done before so when it comes to the area of money and finances i know for many of us as women we love to look cute we like to get a lot of nice things we like to do all of this stuff but for women, a lot of the anxiety and panic comes from fear of lack. When you fear that you lack money and resources for your everyday needs, it is impossible for you to live a lifestyle that is carefree and stressless. And it is impossible for you to get out of a fear mindset when you are afraid that you don't have enough money to feed yourself, to feed your family, to clothe yourself, to get the things you need. So what can you do now with your money in order to ensure that you have what you need later? Number one thing is to become, and it's not the most sexiest word, it's not the cutest word, but become a little bit frugal. When I began to become a little bit frugal in how I spent my money, especially earlier on, 
I didn't just spend money on a whim on everything. And I was the queen of, if I have it at home, I don't have to buy it when I'm outside. You will see, and this is where getting joy and seeing the money grow, opposed to spending it, will help you. You might feel like you want to buy, and I'm not the person that's going to tell you you're going to get rich by not buying Starbucks or buying Dunkin' Donuts. I'm not going to say that. However, for a time, if you make coffee at home or if you only get coffee once a week or you buy things or get fast food once a week, you will see the money that you saved over time and that's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel more secure knowing that you have a full bank account even though you didn't get those little, you know, those little necessities you think are necessities to get every day. When you see your bank account growing because you didn't randomly just go to Target, you didn't randomly just go to Marshalls, you didn't randomly just run to Bath and Body Works and get all of these things, you used discipline and got maybe one thing. When you see your bank account growing, that's going to make you feel more confident and more secure as a woman. It's going to make you feel like, okay, I have a little nest egg. I have something to fall back on. I don't have to have fear of how I'm going to eat or what I'm going to wear or what I'm going to get. I have money tucked away just in case, you know, an emergency or anything. For me, I always used to say that I want to afford to be able to be sick. And I know that might sound odd to some people, the idea of being able to afford to be sick. But what I mean by that is that you want to make sure that even if you're not working, even if you're not in your own business right now, if you have a situation where you're not feeling your best, let's say for me, I'm not feeling the best and I can't get on here and create a video. I can't go to work. I can't do different things. I know that I'm still going to be fine because of course I have a husband, he provides, but let's just say for the sake of this video, I don't, I'm a single woman. And I don't have anything else or anyone else to fall back on. Well, I know that because of my strategic saving and my mindfulness to how I spend my money, if I miss a day or two of work or a week of work, my bills will not miss out. I will still be able to eat. I will still be able to be comfortable because I made the right decisions right now that will help me to be comfortable in the future. See, I got uncomfortable right now so that I could be comfortable in the future. Yeah, it made me uncomfortable because I had to, you know, bring my lunch to work opposed to buying something out. Or I didn't go out this weekend because I wanted to save money. You know, outside is expensive. Sometimes it's like that. But when you make those uncomfortable decisions right now, it will help you to change your life in the future. So when it comes to money, that is the number one thing. I know for me, that was the number one thing. Even though I'm married, having my own money is important. And making sure I always have something to fall back on is important for me. And as a woman for you, it should be very important to you as well. So being financially frugal and making sure that you are tracking and keeping track of your money and making sure that you always have something to fall back on, that will take away a lot of that fear of lack. And then when you also work on those skills and talents that you have and not be limited by other people's view of you, if you have a gift that causes you to be out in the public, use that gift don't worry about what other people are going to say about you because they're going to talk regardless. And when you are a woman of impact and you have influence, people are going to talk about you. And to have that kind of attention, that will bless you in the long run. It might feel uncomfortable to think, oh my goodness, somebody's talking about me. But you know what? It's going to show not only monetary value in the future, it's going to help you to become even more confident and then step out even more into different opportunities that will make you uncomfortable right now, but you will be comfortable in the future when you don't have to worry about money. You don't have to worry about, you know, your time being all pent up because now you have put practices into place that is going to help you to be a little bit more at ease later on down the line. So fear and comfort. Fear is good when it comes to danger, but when it comes to opportunity and taking risks that are going to benefit you in your life, as confident feminine women, you must not let fear stop you in your tracks. And don't miss out on opportunities out of fear of what other people are going to think about you.
And then also in order to change your life, make sure that you're putting practices into place, especially financially, that are going to set you up for the future, even if it makes you uncomfortable right now. Fear stops too many of us from living the kind of life we want to live. And we only have one life, so we cannot spend it living in fear. All right? Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this video until the very end, put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.